and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Karma, our first deck today. Today we're going to be playing uh, two Victor decks and two Riven decks. So we're going to be trying out some uh, new decks with our new champions, except for Zoe. Sorry, Zoe. We'll get back to playing some Zoe decks probably tomorrow. Um, but our we got two kind of control decks with Victor. This one's going to be Victor with Karma. This one's going to be um, mostly PNZ, right? Like we're going to have um, the Victor package. We got our Armed Gearhead, Ballistic Bont, and Nandroid. We got three of all of those, plus a couple of calculated creations to be able to create um, some more of those. And so we're going to be going with all the uh, big Augment package with those cards. To help them out, we have Death Rays in here that can create some, uh, you know, some other Death Rays as far as uh, created cards go. And um, and uh, then we also have Chumplump, which can create some more cards with the Mushroom Clouds. All right, so then our other payoffs, um, you know, Flash of Brilliance also creates another card. Other payoff is going to be Assembly Bot. Um, when every time we're casting a spell, granting it plus one, plus one, with us getting a lot of spells. You know, Victor creates a spell every turn. Ball Ballistic Bot creates a spell every turn. Um, so, you know, with all these created spells... That'll help out assembly bot, make assembly bot real big. But then we're pairing it with Ionia. Ionia is going to give us some permission. We're going to have some counter magic with uh, Nopify, being able to uh, stop some spells. Same with Deny. So, you know, like we're going to be able to uh, counter some spells with those two. A little bit of card draw with some deep meditations. And then, of course, Karma just doubles everything, which can be pretty incredible. We have our Enlightened Karma. With like Victor, you know, with the hex core upgrade, we're granting Victor two keywords in a turn. That's amazing. Um, you know, then our calculate, or sorry, our ballistic bots ignition start doing two damage. Um, you know, that that kind of stuff really adds up. So leveled up karma seems awesome with Victor. All right, so let's get to the games. We're gonna go play five games in ranked, and let's see how we do. Okay, playing against some Lucian Callista. Lucian Callista is an underrated deck. That's always a, a deck that does pretty well. I'm always pretty impressed by it whenever I'm playing against it. All right, so I like we have Gearhead, Mystic Shot, Aftershock. Aftershock's a good removal spell. Same with Mystic Shot. I guess we mulligan Karma. I guess we just don't keep the Karma. Um, I could honestly see mulliganing the Gearhead as well with how our hand is, but I think that we should keep it. Broke my hand, so I got a new one. Okay, we'll pass turn. We don't need to just ca cast this Calculate Creations right now. We can kind of see what's going on. Oh, they got the landmark. That card is busted. All right, perfect Aftershock. Got to destroy that thing. Try to keep up. Perfect. And yeah, you were saying that should have mulliganed for Aftershock, yeah. Because that Grand Plaza in this deck is just incredible. Alright, so that is slow speed. Creating the keyword. Let's play the Chump Womp first. So, like, that's great about the Mushroom Clouds, them being burst, is this is burst, you know, adding... Adding power to these cards. All right, let's grant regeneration. Elusive. Mm. Excuse you. Go on, shake my hand. This does level up Callista, I guess. Maybe I should be worried about leveled up Callista. Well, good thing, good thing I didn't let them level up their Callista, though. Give or 
taste of tomorrow. Okay. First things first. Kill Callista. Life steal. Live steal. Live steal. Quick attack. That's not useful. Alright, so they're at 11. Yeah, the art on Nan Nandroid is great. Yuck. Well, I have to... I definitely have to block here. Four... Yeah, I have to block there. gonna kill me okay so we need to we need to get life steal nah, spell shield so I did I had to kill their their thing that could challenge my victory and get life steal All right, all right. All right, we're playing against some fearsomes. Okay, I started the the prediction thing for those of y'all here on on Twitch. Um, as far as our um, like, these two are definite mulligans. Both of these like they do their job, but they're a little slow at four mana. You send back Chump Wump. Aftershock's like important. Three three health kills both of these. So we're gonna keep that. Alright, so we got some death rays. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Progress. We can use two death rays to kill a 3-2 or a misgrave. Can you improve perfection? Get an assembly bot and play and start growing assembly bot. Actually, I'm gonna pass. I'm not gonna play that. I'm gonna play Victor next turn and then play Ignition. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, save that spell mana for the ignition. Yeah. All right, so that that card, that's a good target for our death ray. Unfortunately, all of our spells are are slow. You know, even the after shot, like all. all right, okay, never mind. Death rays are fast. Okay, now death rays are fast. Okay, so we can play like one of these. So we can play death ray during combat. So I want to, uh, the only thing I can, you know, I can block with this victor also, it's, you know, like, do I want to 
trade with Callista, kill one of these things outright, keep my thing alive, but then they level up their Callista. I think I do this. Let's kill a mystery. Uh, thank you. Thanks, uh, Ascalati. Yeah, if you um, go ahead and yeah, you can share the code. Yeah, I'd like to take a look at the uh, Fizz Zoe deck for sure. We need more regen and lifesteal with this Victor. We didn't do a good job of finding regen or lifesteal last game. Challenger. Well, we could take out Callista with Challenger. Maybe next turn we give Victor a quick attack. Quick attack. Scout. <laughs> uh, if only he had more health. Scout doesn't do anything. Sorry, Victor. I'm just gonna trade you away with Callista. Alright, so we still have the ignition. Our top cards should probably be the MK cards now. Humanity is obsolete. Now you've gone and upset it. How much do I want to play Aftershock? I can also cast Mushroom Cloud. Okay, cool. It passed to me. Thank you. Can you improve perfection? Yeah, there's Death Ray. I just wanted to take the pass while they while they passed. But yeah, let's buff these things up. Pretty crazy how big these things get. Again, doesn't matter. Ah. Uh, Alright, definitely nullifying that. Don't want them to be able to draw two cards. You know, like they're using like these frenzy skitters on defense, you know that that's a good sign for you. Try to keep up. Yeah, Harrowing's about the only thing I need to be scared of. You know, we're gonna we're keeping we're gonna keep making two ignitions a turn. 
That's going to be dealing Nexus damage to them. Plus, maybe they draw a Puff Cap or not. And we're probably just going to be drawing these MK Death Rays for a little while. With the two of them. But I think that should still be okay. How much damage are you doing? Two? Get her out from the darkness. Okay. Let's see. Just need to stay alive. me going down to two, but then they also have everything dead, and then we get to open attack. So we should be fine going down to two. So young. Oh! Why did I just... Yeah, I could have just blocked the one one. What was I doing not blocking the one one? Yeah, why didn't why did I block the one one? <laughs> I don't know. I just you know I don't know I just focused on everything I just was not focused on that one one at all you know I just didn't really see it as a threat I just was not focused on it. But <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Okay, we got Lux Leona. Lux Leona. I love the Nandroid. Don't really want Death Ray. We're not keeping two deep meditations. We could keep one. Because they should be a, you know, like, this should be a long game. But I'm just going to mulligan them and look for some more impactful cards. Cool, got a Victor. Got a couple Karmas. I like the Nopify, they can stop a single combat. That's good. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Now there is no prey to stop. My spirit shines. Um in pursuit. The dawn has arrived. With its Behold light, the, the sun's holy light. light. The heavens. I've licked my wounds too long. All right, Victor. We need we need some upgrades. Ah, the man with the glowing. Beard. We're gonna need to augment some upgrades, Victor. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Answer to me. Feel the sun's glory. It take us a little bit of time to get set up. Regen? Darn, I could have blocked. And I guess I should have done this first. I was, I was planning on keeping Nopify available for single combat. Which I think I still want to. The reason why I'm casting this right now, though, is to make the Deep Meditation cost 3 mana for next turn. A Meowster piece. What we got? Spell Shield. Okay. 
All right. Another brilliant design. Man, we have so many cards. Leveled up Karma would just be awesome with this hand. <laughs> Wish we could have leveled up Karma and play right away, and not wait so long. Our strength is forever at its zenith. I am the bulwark against darkness. What's the best card in the new expansion? Well, the cha the champions, you know, of course, you know, because they are like, you know, the, the champions. They're going to be right up there. After that, the landmarks are super good too, especially the Demacia one. Um, besides that, it's like other like kind of spells. Aftershock, certainly one of the best spells. It destroys those landmarks. Just keeps my options available. I could play Karma maybe this turn. Definitely don't want that to happen because, you know, that's a Daybreak card. That's good for the Leona stun. I can see them using, like, a Pill Cascade and then I have Mystic Shot. They do that. This is where, like, a, a give it all would be crazy, right? I'll stun the 9 9. To start with. Fearsome. <laughs> okay, the last, the last two uh, keywords haven't really been very useful. Overwhelm and fearsome. I do like the fact that they're using, you know, like they're using their Daybreak stuff right now. I do like that. Yes, of course. Unleash new potential. Join me if you want to live. You know, they're using some of their like stun cards right now. So neither of these were created by the Ro that first Robin. I don't think we've seen the. The Daybreak card that was created by the first Robin. Okay. So that looks like that's that was it. So both Robins created a Zenith Blade. Alright, no mana for Sharp Sight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nandroid's always saying cat funds. Yeah, the, the meowster piece. Nandroid's always like meow. It's time to do, you know, whatever. Good morning, Violet. And of course, War Bandit. Good afternoon. I rise. I wouldn't mind if they just attack like this, even though I don't have good blocks. But at least, light. even though they don't have good blocks, it's still not them. Like stunning stuff and stunning like my 1111. That'd make my blocks even worse if they stun that card. Okay, good. Not stunning 1111. That's good news. Inferior design. I take three and go to eight. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Yuck. I don't even want that card in hand. Peace begins 
within. <clears throat> Another brilliant design. Let's start here. It's gonna have Victor two keywords, maybe elusive and lifesteal. Fury. Man, we get, get the, uh, those are the worst keywords. All right, challenger. I guess, but you only four health. Not even like quick attack. Nine mana. Okay, so now our leveled up Victor, now our created cards are going to cost one less. And you know, we're going to create four spells, you know, now we have room to create four spells in hand also with the Kar Karma's Inside of Ages. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Punishment. Another brilliant design. System of Okay. Um, this will get the assembly bot to be bigger than the cat, so they have another stun card. They're stunning the assembly bot. They get some denies. Why is my timer going away? I'm I'm doing stuff as fast as I can. Oh, I'm one mana short from give it all. Alright, well, I kind of ran out of time. Lame. <laughs> we still have that ability to Mystic Shot Face. Of course, Mystic Shot, you know, get, does get doubled up by the Karma. So they're now at three. Should be a good time to do it. Alright, there we go. We even had 30 power assembly bots. A little scared of the attack. I wanted I wanted to cast give it all that turn. But decided to say that, you know, shoot the mystic shots up there. Riven Lee Sin. Lee Sin very scary. Okay, Nopify is good. Probably don't keep two armored gear heads without having the other cards that start creating what cards for I us. Do? What don't I do? But I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to keep to two of them. The of good. Yeah, thank you, Tom Tom. Yeah, I, I do. Yep, I play everything. It's my time. For sure. And, you know, anything, whatever y'all want to see, I, I play it. I try to play you know, all the champions, all the cards. Um, this isn't great. I guess I just cast a flash of 
brilliance right now to just not waste mana. Oh, wait. Right, Flash of Brilliance gives you your mana back. So I'm still wasting my mana. Well. Dawn and Dusk on Victor. Or Karma. That could be pretty sweet. I'm guessing I should not have kept this Nova Pi. Victor, we're gonna need some upgrades. <laughs> this is glorious. Not sure if I want to play this Death Ray. Probably not. Scout. Okay, three forward Scout. They are just passing. Too. Yeah, the the flash of brilliance has not, as far as yeah, if you want to add in some nexus healing into this deck, the flash of brilliance has not been very impressive at all. It it has looked like our worst card. Um, I'm also still just not really sold on this death ray card. I haven't been impressed with it at all before, but yeah, that that's me there. That's that's another option. Ionia speaks through me. I'll show the hunters. It's my time. Sonic Wave's good. I mean, just just challengers in general are good. I really wish I would have mulliganed Nopify. Overwhelm and Scout. So I only played one spell this, this turn. I could play this Creations to make the Deep Meditation cost three. If I want to go Deep Meditation next turn or do that or basically go with the Dawn and Dusk next turn. Probably want to go with the Dawn and Dusk next turn. Let's go with this Dawn and Dusk. Oh wait, I guess, I guess scouts, hmm, scouts aren't, I guess scouts aren't as valuable whenever they're ephemeral. Are they? I guess they're not. Once I stab papers, now faces, our goals are greater than petty violence. All right, we got to use for Nopify. Found a use for Nopify. I know my purpose. That's not the worst thing. Alright, we have to stay alive this turn. Easier said than done. 
we have something? Do we have anything in our deck that can stop this thing? What can I draw into? No, I don't have anything that can stop it. Yep. Uh, let's see, but I mean, we don't really have a whole lot that would stop, you know, like, we would need, you know, we need, like, a Concussive Palm, for example. You know, something like that. Some kind of Ionia card. No, no PNZ card would stop this. I can see playing some Concussive Palms, because, you know, like, your, your big Fury of the North, or, uh, not Fury of the North, but, um... You know what I mean, like, the big, like, 10-10 champions, your Trindomir Trundle, like, that kind of stuff. Unless we deny that, we're going to be really, we're going to be in a lot of trouble against those kind of decks. Because really, the reason why I don't like the Death Ray so much isn't necessarily of like a one mana deal one. Like that's okay, but it's it's the fact that it puts the you know, like the two mana deal two into your deck, then the three mana deal three into your deck, and instead of drawing better cards, you're drawing two mana deal two in the late game and three mana deal three in the late game, and only deal damage to units. Um, instead of just drawing like the better cards that are in your deck, that's why I don't really like that card. Is I think that that's a that's a downside of continually putting that other thing into your deck. Mm. Okay, I like the deny. That's good at stopping the you know the the fight spells. All right, so I'm thinking that like Trump Womp gets us a couple mushroom clouds. They'll be very good with augmenting with these things. Um, the problem is kind of playing these cards early, though. Because if they just play Fiora next turn, that gives them a free challenger, but they don't have the attack token until turn four. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Alright, this gives this lets me bank two spell mana still, so next turn I can go Chump Womp and play both Mushroom Clouds. Join me if you want to live. Prime and ready. Let them eat so. Oh God. Remake. The mom's too like a yodeling uniform. In her radiant blessing. This is going to be difficult to stop this Fiora because that's that's what their whole deck is built around is just find you know find Fiora, play it, and have all sorts of Demacia and Targon protection for it. And and the Priestess is a um, is another way that they can find Fiora with the four mana Celestial card. So, of course, the assembly bot, we can play that because we, we can represent the celestial bot being a 3 3 immediately. No, I don't, I don't necessarily think that. Uh, Karina is going to return this season. I don't, I don't know. Karina seems kind of slow. So I'd probably bet against it. Yeah, I mean, Hush is awesome. I can't, I can't do anything about that. Too easy. This again would be a matchup where you know having cards like Concussive Palm and stuff would be nice, but I don't. We I, we don't have removal for this Fiora. We're just not really playing it. Um, yeah, we. Are, that's kind of a, a weakness in our deck. Are, are big units? We we don't have anything to kill big units. 
Like, Will of Ionia would be perfect, right? Like, Will of Ionia just bounces Fiora and resets Fiora. That would be the best possible card. And now we're dead. So, I guess what we have to do is kind of assume... Assume they have no fight spells or anything like that, and just kind of go... Go wide and hope for the best. We gotta put our best offensive game plan forward. Gotta allow that to happen. I think concerted strike and single combat would be more important to deny. All right, so that's okay. So we we found a, a, a pretty big weakness in our deck is removal for, you know, removal for champions and any kind of and like the larger units. So I think I think that's that's like a, a weakness that we that we need to fix in this deck, especially uh, how this deck wants to play a very long game and. Um, you know, you know, play a really long game. We we need to be able to deal with bigger things that come out in the late game. And and I I would I would strongly recommend replacing Death Ray with stuff that can do that. Um, you do have you have like Thermogenic Beam as an option. Anything else we want to replace? Yeah, the the Flash of Brilliance. Yeah, we want to get rid of that card. So maybe maybe we play like two Thermogenic Beam and um, some Concussive Palms or Will of Ionia. That kind of stuff. Some nice reset with like a Will of Ionia. The thing, the thing I don't love about Concussive Palm is I don't know if you, I don't know if I really love like just the three two in this kind of deck. Um, I've always liked Will of Ionia. But, you know, maybe maybe some more I Ionia cards like that that can that can slow down the opponent, can slow down some some big stuff. Those could be some options. We talked about Give It All. From playing those games, I think I would like a Give It All. Do not want singular will. <laughs> so maybe maybe two thermogenic beams, one concussive palm, a will of Ionia, give it all. It's nice with like with these these situational cards to just kind of have like one of them and have like a, a bunch of different ones because you know you need you need different ones with different situations. Uh, but you know, like one give it all could be really good of uh, especially with like the very large size that assembly bot gets, um, and then you know like your other keywords with Victor getting keywords and Nandroid being. Um, elusive from Homecoming. Recall an ally or unit or landmark to recall an enemy unit or landmark. No, I would much rather have Will of Ionia. I think I think that this isn't, you know, like you, yeah, like Trump is like your best thing there, but that's that's not really what you you don't really because think of like if you don't have Trump Womp in play, if you only have like these augment cards you really don't want to bounce any kind of augment card that's getting a bonus so no this is not something you'd want to be playing at all i know you, you'd much rather have will of ionia because that that can be that can work out terribly for you yeah you don't want it with that and i'd probably just rather have two will of ionia maybe maybe no concussive palm probably just two will of ionia a give it all and some thermogenic beams and i think that would be good and i do like with uh with all of these like little spells costing one mana I do like how you can kind of uh, set up your thermogenic beam to be the exact amount that you want, right? Because like a lot of times you like have to overpay. You have to you know spend like six mana on thermogenic beam to only do four damage just because you know you don't have like the four damage that you wanted because you don't have like a two mana spell, um, you know like that kind of stuff. But that's kind of nice of having a whole bunch of one mana cards where you can kind of pick and choose instead of having like you know nine mana to do six damage. You know you can you can 
pick and choose where you want to cast your thermogenic beam. That's kind of nice. So you don't you don't waste you don't feel like you're wasting mana. Um, I don't. I mean, I think I I've always still liked even after the Will of Ionia nerf. I've always still liked Will of Ionia, and I've always I've really liked putting it into my um, Ionia decks. Another card that I could see fitting in here is Twin Disciplines. Uh, we saw like the challenge, you know, the challengers be able to like take down our champions and we don't like have any protection for for challengers will of ionia would give us some protection for challengers um nopify didn't look that good but uh you know i know it's there for like the go hard decks but that, so this is this would be another card to be thinking about with the twin disciplines to try to help protect your victor and karma and just even like any of these um augment cards are very good to have in play for a long period of time so there's our, our first donation deck of the day. There's Victor Karma. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think about these changes and uh, what do you want to see on stream? What kind of decks do you want to, to see? Where do you want to pair all these new champions with? Uh, but that's it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.